fact, uh, let's go across to the FMCG pack and Dabur posted a stable set of numbers in the second quarter. We've got uh, CEO Sunil Dugal joining us to discuss the numbers. Uh, Mr. Dugal, thank you so much for taking the time out today. Firstly, can you run us through the business environment that you witnessed in the second quarter? Well, the category growths have been uh, pretty muted as far as the industry is concerned. So it's uh, on the back of a fairly difficult operating environment in which we've been able to deliver these growths. Uh, I think our single-minded focus on keeping the volume growths uh, in the 8% in the plus band has uh, resulted in this performance. Even if it's uh, meant that we have to compromise a little bit on margins uh, because we haven't taken any spend off our A&P. So therefore, uh, our strategy of uh, concentrating on volume growths is uh, yielding results. We do believe that going forward, the margins also will improve on the back of lower raw material costs. But uh, the focus so far has been on volume growths. Right. So th at the start of uh, Q1, you did say that um, you did say that uh, you know that you were uh, looking at about a 10% plus volume growth. Uh, will this be on track? You know, I had uh, indicated that the second half would be much better than the first. Uh, quite frankly, the second half, the, the, the second quarter has not uh, supported that belief because uh, the volume growths have been at an all-time low as far as major uh, categories are concerned. So we've been able to buck the trend, but uh, unless the category growths improve in the next uh, quarter or two, it may be difficult to do that, uh, actually next to impossible to do the 10%. In fact, even uh, uh, hanging on to the 8% which we've been doing will be hard. So therefore, the outlook uh, for the sector in terms of growths uh, is not looking uh, very, very bright at this point in time. We have been bucking the trend for the last uh, six, uh, four to six quarters, and we hope sure. we continue to do so. Which segment will drive growth then going forward from here? Uh, we expect health supplements uh, to be uh, uh, growing at a higher pace. We expect home and personal care to also rebound uh, after a fairly subdued first half. We do expect uh, growth in foods to be a little bit more muted uh, in the second half as compared to the first half on the back of a very high base of last year and very high cut growths in the first half. So I think it will be a mixed bag. You will see better performance in, uh, say, home and personal care and uh, parts of health care and perhaps a little bit less uh, or a more subdued performance in food and beverages. But it's uh, early days yet. We've just begun the second half. And uh, let's see how the category growths also operate. Uh, what about Project Core? Uh, what's the update on that? Core has now reached uh, 75,000 touch points as far as urban chemists are concerned, so it's on track. Uh, we have to see whether we want to expand it beyond the current level of 75,000 or whether we want to maintain it. At this point in time, we are uh, saying that let's not go further down till category growth improve because it may not be optimal to increase the touch points beyond 75,000. However, our overall reach of chemists has now gone beyond 2.25 lakhs and uh, that is also a very encouraging number. So I think these initiatives will definitely support our healthcare uh, plans uh, in terms of both introduction of new products as well as supporting existing products.